Hey guys, welcome to Creative Soft. And if you had been wondering whether you should buy the iPhone 14 or the 14 Pro series, this particular video is for you. I know most of you all must be thinking, why did I purchase the iPhone 14 Pro Max when you have an option to buy the 14 series or even the 13 series, guys? Please consider this particular video as my complete review for the iPhone 14 Pro Max after using it for about four weeks. Also, please watch this video till the end because I'm going to talk about in details what are the pros and cons of buying the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So without a further ado, let's get started. The number one reason of getting the iPhone 14 Pro Max is the display size. The iPhone 14 Pro Max display have 2000 nits of brightness. When you are watching an HDR movie, it is 1600 nits, which is very bright. The default brightness is, I guess, 1200. Key features for the display is the 1 Hz refresh rate, which they have given, which can go up to, you know, 120 Hz and it's a high refresh rate. So this helps Apple to use features like always on display. I know most of y'all have been thinking that this feature is already available in the Android phones, guys, for very long time maybe i think from galaxy s7 edge will always take one step back when it comes to implementing the latest and greatest technology so i think apple have done a great job if you see they are always on display it dims up to a very you know lighter state and then you can even see your wallpaper not just the clock so this is one of the brilliant thing which i really like about the always on display on the iphone 14 pro max most of your people must be noticing this there is something called as dynamic island now what this dynamic island does is it takes tiny bits of notifications and it converts the top notch pill cutout shape whatever you all call it it converts that into something useful feature most of your people must be you know thinking that is something new and great in my honest opinion i don't feel so it is a better feature because when you are especially watching videos and all it takes a part of a display which in my case the notch was better so this is just my opinion guys i had actually no issues uh, having with the notch i can see this pill shape cutout especially when watching videos there are limited apps which are supported like spotify supports it some timer supports it but then i'm not going to use this all over again and i really like the battery animation when you charge the phone and it dynamically expands and show you charging of that particular phone along with the battery percentage which i really like on the dynamic island one thing what i noticed is if you go in the direct sunlight you all can ship the two holes one is the pill cut and one is the uh, opening for the camera which definitely is visible when you are viewing the phone's display in direct sunlight what i really like about the always on display it shows the proper wallpaper of the phone and it just dims it down uh, in my test case guys i had a battery drain issue so i just recommend you all to just turn it off altogether because in my case guys i'm using dark wallpaper as you all can see on my iphone 12 and basically this kind of wallpapers will definitely you know help you in getting the better always on display one of the major issue which i faced in my testing using this particular iphone 14 pro max is that the brightness of this reaches to 2000 nits and the display dims. there is something called as throttling which happens with this particular phone there is brightness throttling so once it reaches that peak performance brightness level the display slightly dims and it, the phone gets warmer guys so i do not recommend you all use the auto brightness setting because the display is quite bright anyway one major improvement is now you don't have that particular cutout guys when it comes to camera so especially if you are using screen protector and all it can be directly applied on the screen and it also protects your camera anyway so one of the major reason why i did not purchase the 14 pro over the 14 pro max is because i like uh, usually a bigger display and on my android phone i'm used to a bigger display guys so that is one of the reason and the price difference is just ten thousand or maybe like 100 bucks in if you're staying in us one of the reason to buy the iphone 14 pro max is the pro camera guys first time in the history guys iphone have 48 megapixel camera and i think this is one of the major reason why you should avoid 14 and the 14 plus and definitely should upgrade to 14 pro and the 14 pro max as per your size convenience they have something called as new photonic engine which helps in you know reducing noise etc and uh, having awesome photography when you are shooting at night so the 14 pro max is having three cameras that is wide telephoto and ultra wide and this year we have four focal lenses one is the 0.5 the regular ultra wide the second is the 1x the regular one 48 megapixel one and the second one is 2x and the 3x the 3x is telephoto lens whereas the 2x is a crop from the main sensor and these 2x have the optical crop which is one of the reason you should definitely upgrade to a 14 pro one of the distinguishing feature of the pro models is it is having the pro 
RAW, it can shoot photos which are having a file size in RAW format in DNG format up to 85 to 100 MB, which according to me, photographers will be able to use it at its maximum capacity, guys. Also, the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max is having the Apple ProRes format. So it's like shooting raw video, guys. So Apple ProRes is one of the format. This is one of the reasons you should avoid the 128 GB and go with the at least minimum 256 GB because on 128 GB, it is limited to 1080p recording. Whereas you can shoot up to 4K Apple ProRes if you're having 256 GB variant. And this is one of the reasons I got a 256 GB variant iPhone 14 Pro Max because of its better camera system compared to the 14 and 14 Plus. Another major improvement is the cinematic mode. Now you can shoot at 1080p 30fps like the regular 13 14 pro and the 14 pro max are having 4k cinematic mode and you all can shoot it in 24 25 and 30 fps which is great according to me if, if you're thinking of making a film using the iphone 14 pro max there is this new feature like the gimbal stabilization on the iphone 14 pro and the pro max and 14 lineup it is called action mode which stabilizes your footage but one downside is it shoots at 2.5k rather than 4k so i don't think so it's much of a difference considering the crop and all and the stabilized footage which you are getting it is definitely worth shooting in action mode if you are doing some run and gun kind of shoots the 14 pro max shoots awesome macro videos guys and there is no comparison with the 13 another distinguishing feature is the selfie camera now gets a autofocus mode especially it is used if you are like to capture your beard hair etc when you are shooting a selfie i think it's a great move by apple to include the autofocus camera on the selfie unit let me talk about the battery experience on the iphone 14 pro max and i've been getting around two days because i have a very light usage light to medium you can see i'm not using instagram neither i'm using whatsapp or those social media sites but definitely i'm going to get a better battery life around two days guys in my particular case i should charge it to maybe like 100 percent and uh, after two days i should get somewhere around 20 percent so in my case i'm getting two days most of the people had been complaining that with the 14 pro max they are getting lesser battery than the 13 that is simply because of the always on display and there was literally some bugs in the iphone 14 series and definitely it is has to do with the operating system and the always on display if you leave it on guys the battery backup is going to go down no matter what you do this is what i feel so and definitely the 14 pro series is having a better battery life i know apple is claiming the 14 plus is having a better battery life again i have not tested it so i can't say anything but the 14 pro max in my case is giving me two days of battery life with my light to moderate usage if you like this kind of videos hit that like button subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to press that bell notification icon to get any future updates Update whenever we upload any new video so let's talk about the build of the iphone 14 pro max guys and most of you all must be saying that the 13 pro max and the 14 pro max is looking the same and i totally agree with you at the back it just looks the same and the build quality is also almost the same but i feel there is a huge camera bump at the back apple have done a great job when it comes to having the materials and the quality of the product and overall it just looks awesome and one thing what i really noticed is the thinner bezels on the 14 pro max also there are new colors the deep purple and the space black and personally i have selected the space black because i always wanted a complete dark iphone so that is one of the reason and mostly it really goes well with your suit let's talk about the pricing guys and the pricing for the iphone 14 pro max has been increased by 10,000 compared to last year according to me the high case on the price is not justified but you can still get 6,000 off if you are using credit card of hdfc on the starting day just to buy this iphone 14 pro max which i did in my case please check out the link in the description if you want to buy a case for the iphone 14 pro max because i have tons of reviews for this and also check the cards guys because i'll be linking many cases and the complete review of this iphone 14 pro max so guys let's talk about the a16 bionic processor in my testing i just found like it is better efficient and it is built on i may be like four or five nanometer chipset and you can check out the link in the description getting the proper specs on gsm arena it is a bit efficient I did not notice a huge difference between the A13 series and the 14 series. Please follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at the rate creative soft which would help my channel a lot. So this year also we are getting the same old lightning connector which I don't know for how many years Apple will be pushing it. But thanks to European Union, Apple is soon about to come with the type C connector but this year the iPhone 14 Pro Max is not getting it. So it would have been a great option guys especially with this awesome large file size of the videos in the pro mode of 48 megapixel it is better always to have you know faster bandwidth to transfer your files faster but in my case
case i'm using the airdrop which does not make any difference to me right now the iphone 14 pro max is not easily available you'll have to book it and the shipping period for the iphone 14 pro max is five to six weeks if you go to apple.com slash ion i think it is worth the wait guys you all should definitely go for the 14 pro max instead of going for the regular 14. let's talk about the issues with the iphone 14 pro max which i really had one of them is the heating guys what i noticed is if you are outside in bright sunlight and all the display gets dim sometimes it is not always true but in certain case scenarios if you are playing games and if you just go outside the net brightness uh, that is the peak brightness goes to around 2000 net then later on the display gets a bit dimmer in my case i just felt it but it was okay once i came inside so this is what i felt with the iphone 14 pro max and yes this issue is also there with the 13 pro max too another thing to be noticed in this case scenario guys the iphone 14 pro max opposed to the 14 and the 13 pro models is going to get much more cooler faster because it is having a bigger chassis and bigger chassis means larger heat dissipation when uploading photos and videos to social media i just noticed one awesome difference between the iphone lineup and the android is that the iphone 14 pro max does not compress the video and it keeps the original video of the media guys this is one of the fantastic things by apple this is one of the reason i'm using iphone for generally transferring my files and posting reels and youtube shorts and all so this is one of the reason why i always use iphone another thing which is very annoying is the file sizes are very large and once you start uploading those particular videos guys it is taking forever especially if you just like keep the app in the background and minimize it it is just going to stop uploading it maybe it is just going to take around like four hours in my case which i had which was super annoying i don't know why apple does this apple should have at least given an option to just turn on the background processes and it would automatically take your particular media and upload in the background this would be saving a lot of time for me many of us content creators. So let's talk about the durability of the iPhones guys. They are having ceramic sheet at the front which is a better glass I believe and it is going to protect your phone against dents and all just in case you drop it. But again guys glass is glass and glass breaks and it's the same story with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The iPhone 14 the regular one is having a better repairability and that means you can open the front and the back part of it unlike the iPhone 14 Pro Max because in certain case videos which I was just doing a research on you cannot I guess open on the back panel of the iphone 14 pro max if you're thinking about a better repair score and all i think you should go with the 14 but then 14 pro max is anyways better according to me just because of the latest tech there are more than one reasons i just to skip for regular 14 and go for the 14 pro max because this might be the last iphone with the lightning connector that we are seeing now so let's also talk about the network guys so i had wonderful signal with the iphone 14 pro max i'm not sure what exactly is the reason for this because i just noticed if i'm having two geo sims guys with my iphone 14 pro max and another with my 12 12 is getting almost the same signal but then the 14 pro max is getting a better speed test when i'm doing speed test simultaneously with the iphone 14 pro max and the 12 i know most of you all must be thinking that the iphone 12 is an older phone which is almost like two years from now i just purchased the iphone 12 this year also after purchasing the iphone 14 pro max and it is surprising for me also i had no issues when i'm using the phone with the case so signal doesn't drop no matter which case you all are using you all can check out the link in the description guys for getting a case for this particular phone the iphone 14 pro max one thing to be noted if you are purchasing the iphone 14 pro max from the us there won't be any sim tray guys so they have ditched the sim tray completely and they are just providing with the eSIM. so eSIM would be your best bet if you are purchasing from the us carriers guys so in my case if the price difference is not much definitely go for the indian variant and just keep the us variant for now i hope you all enjoyed this video as much as we did while creating it please subscribe to our channel and also do check out these awesome videos which we have it and let me know in the comments below whether you think it is worth upgrading from the iphone 12 or the 13 because in my case guys i don't think so it is worth upgrading from the 13 series if you to a 14 series if you already own the 13 pro max guys so in that case scenario please do not buy the 14 pro max if you already own the iphone 13 pro max again guys thanks a lot for watching this video and see you in my next video